Hi, Mike at Mike's Carburetor Parts. Uh, I've had questions come up about uh, the Autolite 1100. Uh, people have rebuilt them and and uh, now they got gas gushing out the top. Well, uh, two things. Is the gas gushing out the top? If it is, it's cut running over, say, through here, the vent tube. Um, it's flooding over, just getting too much fuel and flooding over. So you did something wrong, possibly. Uh, the other thing is it is it is it coming out through the gasket here? Um, that could be because it's warped. Different story. Right now, I'm just worried about the the flooding situation. There's only um, a few things that can make it flood, and the long and short of it is that it's getting too much fuel in the float bulb, uh, thus flooding out. So there's only a few things that cause that. Number one. There is a possibility that the fuel pump's putting out too much pressure. Um, you should always check your fuel pump pressure. You're going to have to get a fuel pump pressure gauge and find out uh, from your uh, uh, um, automotive manual what the pressure is supposed to be. Uh, but that typically doesn't happen. Um, the uh, Where I've seen that is when somebody buys, uh, uh, replaces uh, the uh, fuel pump with a new one. And some of these pumps that are coming from uh, uh, China just aren't very good. Okay, so here's the other possibility. Uh, some of the other things. Here's your seat. Now on 1101, uh, the seat doesn't come out and it uses a different needle. Uh, this is the 1100. And uh, the seat goes in here without a gasket. Uh, do not use any um, uh, Teflon tape. Okay, that's a sure way of uh, uh, messing up your needle and seat. Uh, oops, I dropped it. Uh, if you want to use anything, uh, you can try this uh, uh, anaerobic gasket maker, uh, but use very little of it. It's a possibility that the threads have worn enough in the carburetor that some fuel is leaking around the threads. And uh, you simply put your needle in there, gently hold it down and blow through this hole and it, you shouldn't get anything around here. Put a little uh, soap suds around and make sure. Uh, don't put anything around the threads unless you really have to, of course, to do it. Now you can see somebody's put uh, Teflon tape around this uh, before, and uh, that's a big no-no. Uh, that stuff t ends up in here, and that's gonna keep your needle in, uh, uh, your needle open and, and uh, let the fuel in when it's not supposed to be. Do not use Teflon tape. You got to use anything Teflon. Uh, you can use a, a very little uh, Teflon liquid Teflon, uh, but use very little of it. Okay, so, um, and, and since I'm on that subject, uh, if you just rebuilt your carburetor, I've seen this happen over and over again. You get it all done, you put it all together, uh, you start up all the crap from the fuel lines and the, in the fuel tank. Uh, go right back into the carburetor and your needle and seat has crud in it. So uh, it could be if you just take it apart, clean it, um, yeah, you may be good to go at that point. Now the other thing is maybe you damage the Teflon here, uh, the Viton seat. And people do that when uh, a lot of times when they're adjusting the float um, and they press down on it to bend the float. Uh, that will surely uh, ruin your needle and you're gonna have to get another kit and change the needle and see Okay, so float level is the other thing. I'm not going to do the float level on this one uh, That'll be in your instructions. It's pretty straightforward uh, But make sure your float level is correct Make sure the float drop is right. See this is your float level and That's your float drop your float drop is how far uh, the needle drops down, okay when it's open all right, so uh, it's not likely that it's rubbing on the edges. The other thing, test your float. Even though you can't hear anything in it, uh, get some water real hot. Just prior to boiling, get it real hot. Immerse this in the water and watch it. And uh, what happens is it'll heat up inside real quick. If there's any kind of a leak in it, you'll see bubbles come out of it. And sometimes uh, the bubbles will come out pretty good. It's, it's hard to miss, okay? So you test your floats. And incidentally, you can't, these are not available new anymore, so be careful with your float. All right, so that's, uh, let's see, that's about, that's about it. These are pretty straightforward. There's not a lot that can cause these to flood. Uh, so, uh, 
like I say, if you're getting fuel out the top, you're just getting way too much fuel. So check those things out, and uh, um, that'll probably take care of your problem. Thanks for watching.